Welcome, my friends. Are you tired of feeling like you're throwing your hard-earned money out the window every month on internet and phone bills? Well, you're not alone. These bills can add up quickly and can be a significant expense for many of us. But fear not, because today we're going to talk about 10 strategies that can help you save some serious cash on your internet and phone bills. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but I've already tried everything. I've switched providers, negotiated with my current provider, and even cut unnecessary services. And while those are all great strategies, I promise you there are still more ways to save that you may not have considered yet. Imagine being able to use that extra money for something you've been wanting for a long time, whether it's a vacation, a new piece of technology, or just some extra savings in the bank. It's definitely worth a shot, right? So, are you ready to start saving some serious cash on your internet and phone bills? Of course you are. Let's dive in and see how we can make it happen. Shop around for the best deals. When it comes to saving money on internet and phone bills, one of the best strategies you can use is to shop around for the best deals. I know, I know, it sounds like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised at how many people just stick with the same provider without ever checking to see if they could be getting a better deal elsewhere. Think of it this way, if you were buying a car, you would compare prices, features, and warranties from different dealerships before making a purchase, right? The same goes for internet and phone services. So where do you start? One great place to begin is by checking out comparison websites. These sites allow you to compare different plans and providers side by side, making it easy to see which one offers the best deal for you. Another tip is to pay attention to promotions and special deals that providers might offer. Sometimes you can score a great deal just by timing your purchase right or by being willing to switch providers. Also, don't be afraid to ask for discounts or to negotiate with providers. Remember, the worst they can say is no, and you'll never know if you don't ask. By taking the time to shop around and compare different deals, you could potentially save hundreds of dollars a year on your internet and phone bills. And who doesn't want more money in their pocket? So be a savvy shopper and start shopping around for the best deals today. Negotiate with your provider. Alright, so you've shopped around and you've found that your current provider is still offering the best deal. But don't put away your negotiation hat just yet. Even if you're happy with your current provider, there's still room for negotiation. Believe it or not, many providers are willing to work with their customers to lower their bills. But you have to be willing to ask. So, what should you say when negotiating with your provider? First, do your research. Look at what other providers are offering and use that information to your advantage. Also, be prepared to explain why you're looking to lower your bill. Are you struggling financially? Have you been a long-time customer? These are all valid reasons that providers may take into consideration when negotiating with you. Another tip is to be willing to make a compromise. For example, you could ask to have a specific service removed in exchange for a lower rate, or you could ask to have your contract term shortened in exchange for a discount. It's also important to be persistent. Providers sometimes need to escalate the matter to their superiors to get the discounts you are asking for, so don't give up if you don't get the deal you want on the first try. By taking the time to negotiate with your provider, you could potentially save a significant amount of money on your internet and phone bills. And who knows, you might even be able to negotiate some perks or extra services as well. So don't be afraid to speak up and negotiate with your provider. It's time to get the deal you deserve. Bundle services. Let's talk about bundling, my friends. You know that thing where you bundle all your services together and save a ton of money? Yeah, that one. When it comes to internet and phone bills, bundling services is one of the best ways to save money. Instead of paying for internet, phone, and TV separately, you can bundle them all together and get one low monthly rate. Think about it, you're already paying for internet and phone service, why not bundle in some TV as well? Not only will you save money, but you'll also have everything in one convenient package. Now, before you go and bundle all your services together, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. First, make sure you're getting the best deal possible. Compare different bundle options and providers to find the one that offers the most value for your money. Also, be sure to read the fine print. Sometimes providers will offer a low rate for a limited time, after which the rate will go up. Or they might have a contract term that you have to commit to. So make sure you know what you're getting into before you sign on the dotted line. By bundling your services, you could potentially save hundreds of dollars a year on your internet and phone bills. And who doesn't like saving money? So... Start exploring bundle options and see how you can bundle your way to savings today. Use a VoIP phone service. We'll get to that in a second. 
I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Are you tired of paying through the nose for phone service? Well, have you considered using a voice over internet protocol, VoIP, phone service? VoIP is a type of phone service that uses the internet to make and receive calls. This means you don't have to pay for a separate phone line. Instead, you can make calls using the internet connection you already have. And the best part, VoIP services are often much cheaper than traditional phone services. You can find plans that offer unlimited calling for a low monthly rate, and some even offer international calling at a fraction of the cost of traditional phone services. Now I know what you might be thinking, but what about the quality of the calls? Will they be as good as traditional phone service? The answer is, it depends on the provider and the quality of your internet connection. But in most cases, the quality of the calls is just as good, if not better, than traditional phone service. Another great thing about VoIP is that you can take your phone number with you anywhere you go as long as you have internet connection you can make and receive calls. So if you're looking for a way to save money on your phone bill, consider using a VoIP phone service. It's a smart and budget-friendly way to keep in touch with your loved ones without breaking the bank. Cut unnecessary services. Let's talk about cutting the fat, my friends. When it comes to saving money on internet and phone bills, one of the best strategies is to cut unnecessary services. You know, those extra services that you're paying for but never use, like the landline phone service you never use or the premium channels you never watch. It's time to say goodbye to them. Now, I know it can be hard to let go of services you've been paying for, but trust me, it's worth it in the long run. By cutting unnecessary services, you could potentially save hundreds of dollars a year on your internet and phone bills. But how do you know which services are unnecessary? Start by taking a look at your bills. Are there any services that you're paying for but never use? Are there any services that you could live without? Once you've identified the unnecessary services, it's time to cancel them. You might also want to consider downgrading your services. For example, if you're paying for a high-speed internet plan, but you don't need the extra speed, you could downgrade to a lower-speed plan and save money. Another tip is to review your services regularly. Your needs and preferences might change over time, and you might find that a service that was once necessary is no longer useful to you. By cutting unnecessary services, you can focus on the services that you actually need and use, and save yourself some serious cash in the process. It's time to take a good look at your services and make the cuts that are necessary to save money. Utilize public Wi-Fi. That's right, my friends. Public Wi-Fi can be a great way to save money on your internet bill. You can find free Wi-Fi in many places, such as libraries, coffee shops, and even some public parks. Now I know what you might be thinking. But isn't public Wi-Fi less secure? While it's true that public Wi-Fi can be less secure than a private home network, there are ways to stay safe. First, make sure you're connecting to a legitimate network. Avoid networks that are labeled as free Wi-Fi or public Wi-Fi, and instead look for networks that are specific to the establishment you're in. Also, be sure to use a virtual private network, VPAN, when connecting to public Wi-Fi. A VPAN encrypts your internet connection and helps to protect your personal information from hackers. Another tip is to avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive activities such as online banking or shopping. Instead, save those activities for when you're on a secure network. By using public Wi-Fi, you can save money on your internet bill and still stay connected. So, next time you're out and about, look for a public Wi-Fi spot and take advantage of the savings. Share an internet plan with neighbors or roommates. Sharing an internet plan with others is a great way to save money on your internet bill. Instead of paying for the entire bill yourself, you can split the cost with others and get more bang for your buck. But how do you go about setting up a shared internet plan? First, you'll need to talk to your neighbors or roommates and see if they're interested in sharing the cost of internet service. Once you have a group of people who are interested, you can then contact a provider and set up a plan that works for everyone. It's also important to set up some ground rules before you start sharing the internet plan. For example, you'll need to decide how the bill will be split, who will be responsible for making payments, and how to handle any issues that may arise. Another tip is to make sure everyone is on the same page regarding the internet usage. For example, if one person is streaming movies all day, it may affect the internet speed for others, so it's important to have a plan in place to ensure that everyone has a fair share of the internet. By sharing an internet plan with your neighbors or roommates, you can save money on your internet bill and still stay connected. So next time you're paying your internet bill, think about reaching out to your neighbors or roommates and see if they're interested in sharing the cost. Use data caps wisely. Data caps, we all hate them. 
but they're a reality for many internet users. But did you know that by using data caps wisely, you can actually save money on your internet bill? First, let's define what a data cap is. It's a limit on the amount of data you can use each month. Once you've reached that limit, your internet speed will slow down or you'll have to pay extra fees. Now, the key to saving money on your internet bill is to stay within your data cap. But how do you do that? One way is to monitor your data usage. Most internet providers have an online tool that allows you to track your data usage, so make sure you're checking it regularly. Another tip is to be mindful of the things that use up a lot of data. For example, streaming movies and TV shows, online gaming and downloading large files can all use up a lot of data. So if you're trying to stay within your data cap, you might want to limit your usage of these activities. You can also take advantage of off-peak hours when the internet traffic is lower to download or upload large files or streaming. Also, consider using a VPN, which can compress your data and help you stretch your data cap a little further. By using your data cap wisely, you can save money on your internet bill and still enjoy all the things you love to do online. So, start monitoring your data usage and make sure you're staying within your data cap. Well, my friends, we've come to the end of our journey to save money on internet and phone bills. We've talked about a lot of strategies today, from shopping around for the best deals, to cutting unnecessary services, to using public Wi-Fi. But the most important thing to remember is that saving money on internet and phone bills is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. It's important to review your services regularly and make adjustments as needed. So, take the time to implement these strategies and see how you can save money on your internet and phone bills. Imagine what you could do with that extra cash, whether it's taking a vacation, buying a new piece of technology, or just saving it for a rainy day. Remember, saving money on internet and phone bills is not just about cutting costs, it's also about being smart and making informed decisions. Thank you for joining me on this journey to save money on internet and phone bills. I hope you found this information helpful and that you're able to put it into practice. And don't forget to leave a comment with your own money, saving tips. Let's keep the conversation going.